part of today's episode, we're going to be focusing on restoring the wheels. Now, as you can see, we have our work cut out for us with this wheel here, but we're going to be using Dupacolor's wheel coating. Now, we're going to use a white coating to match the accents on some of the other pieces of the car. Uh, and these are durable and heat and chip resistant, and specially formulated for your wheels. After we get our white base coat down, we offer a gloss clear coat and a matte clear coat for the wheels. For this application, we're going to go with our matte wheel clear coat to match the other white accents on the car. Now also we're going to hit this front bumper here with this wheel coating just for the durability of it. We've got our wheels and our bumpers off the car. Now we had a little bit of rust to deal with, so we went ahead with a wire wheel, clean them up as best we could. Now to take care of the remaining texture, we're going to clean it up with the Dupacolor Prep Spray and then hit it with some filler primer to give us a nice smooth surface to paint over. Now when applying Dupacolor's filler primer, you want to go with nice, even, light coats. You want to avoid any runs because we're trying to create a nice, smooth surface that we can come back and sand. Okay, we've sanded the bumper down and we laid the filler primer, but as you can see here, it's got some pitting. Um, there is options that we have here, and I think what John will talk about next will really be helpful for us to see how we can restore this and still keep its original bumper. As you were saying, we do want to keep the original bumper, so what we've decided to do with this pitting is use the Dupacolor Professional Undercoat. It's going to help fill in some of that and give us a nice, durable surface that we can go ahead and paint right over and get the white color that we're looking for. When applying Dupacolor's Professional Undercoat, you're going to want to put down two to three coats until you get full coverage with about ten minutes in between. We're going to have to give our undercoating here about 45 minutes to dry before we come back and hit it with some more paint. So we're going to get our wheels back over and start working on those again. So we got our filler primer on here and we let it dry for about a half hour. Now we're going to give it a, a light scuff and then move on to our wheel coating. When applying Dupacolor's wheel paints, you're going to want to put down two to three coats with ten minutes in between, within one hour. Now that our bumpers are dry, we're going to come back and hit that with the Dupacolor wheel paint as well. We got a couple coats of our Dupacolor white wheel paint on these. Now it took us just two cans to do all four wheels. Now we're going to come back and hit it with the Dupacolor wheel matte clear coat, give us that matte finish that's real popular right now. We've got our two coats on the bumpers as well. We're going to hit those with the Dupacolor wheel matte clear coat to match the wheels. When applying Dupacolor's Wheel Matte Clear Coat, you're going to want to put down two to three light coats. As those dry down, you're going to really see them start to matte out and look really good. So we finished up our projects here that we used the Dupacolor wheel paint for, and these things are looking awesome. If you remember, we had some imperfections in the wheel here that we hit with the Dupacolor Filler Primer to get that ready to paint. On the bumper, we had a lot of rust pitting. So what we did there is we started out with Dupacolor's undercoat to fill some of that in and even it out. And then we came back and hit them both with Dupacolor's white wheel paint and then finished it off with the matte wheel clear. And these things are looking awesome. And now after we finished these wheels, we sent them out, got some nice new tires on them, and they're ready to go. For more information on the products we used here and any of our other products, be sure to check out our website. And stay tuned as we continue to work on this 1969 International Scout.